All right, so I just wanted to briefly describe um, what the trim and the noise does when you're in the manual setting, because this is the basis for how the plates here vibrate. So understanding that um, is pretty important in terms of understanding how the machine itself works. So trim is the baseline vibration that the machine has. So I'll go ahead and take the noise down to zero and we can see here the trim is at one. I'll go ahead and start it. So this is kind of at its lowest intensity, the pattern that the plates are gonna make. And you can see that they aren't moving um, in the same rhythm as one another. So like your right foot is going to get one set of input here, then your left foot is going to get a separate set of input. Um, and that's very important in the design of, of how they made it, is that each one is getting a different input and then they're actually moving in three dimensional motion. So that is, is the baseline vibration, otherwise known as the trim um, when you're hearing manual. Now, the second thing that we have here is the noise. So I'll go ahead and turn that up to one, press start. And now you're going to hear that clicking. So what that clicking is, is adding little small perturbations to this baseline vibration. So that these perturbations are completely random um, and that's gonna help to lower the sensory threshold for um, inputs coming in through the foot. So it's gonna help, to help them to have better um, um, ability to sense that input coming into their feet so that they can then better react to it. Um, this is going to help with postural stability, um, gait cycle, different things like that. So that's what adding the noise looks like. And then I will go ahead and take that noise back down to zero and I'll show you the highest intensity that it can go. So this is going to be 12, as high as it goes on the trim. So again, this is with no noise. This is just that baseline vibration pattern. Um, then this is what that looks like. So you can see there that it gets going pretty fast. And again, you can see that they're moving separate from one another, moving at pretty high velocities. I'll stop that. And then I'll take the noise up as well. So this is as high as the trim goes and then as high as the noise goes. And I realized that was a little bit shaky, so I'll also include a slow motion clip um, of just the plates here moving at the end um, right after this.